Hello, and welcome back to Matty Plays, the series where we check out Roblox train games, because I love Roblox and trains. And today, we're playing a brand new game on the Roblox platform called British Railways, a game based in, I believe, the 19-somethings. I'll put it in post of when this is set. But, um... Yeah, you essentially drive trains, you can guard them, or just explore, and it's a quite a cool game, and as you can tell by the menu, it does look quite fancy. Now, I will say before we get into the video, that um, this is sort of pre-recorded, sort of before-release footage, because, okay... So by the time you're watching this video, the game is out to play, you can play it for yourself, link will be in the description, but... But I've been given early access, as you can say, by the devs to check out the game and so I could, you know, record this video for you guys. So, with that notice, that will mean that some things may appear different to the actual finished product. But we'll get on with the video, shall we? Because that's all you want to, that's all you're here for. Without out of the way, let's get to driving a train. So, I have all the trains because I bought them because Robux money. But... By default, you start with the 142 with the British Railway livery, and as you can see, you've got the three ones you can buy. I bought that one. You've got the 156 and the 170. These two having to buy yourself. But let's start with the 142 pace, shall we? Let's start with the default train. And I'm thinking, let's do a two car. That sounds fun. So let me go continue. And I'm thinking, what route do we want to do? I believe we start with five or six routes. Cause I know you don't. I forget which how, which ones I've bought and which ones were free. But one thing's for certain: this route was definitely one of the free ones. So I think we should do this one first. And yes, here we are inside the one for two. Look at this! Now this game is quite beautiful in the fact that well, the UI is epic. The models look fantastic i'm not by, by the way disclaimer i'm not paid to say all this stuff these are generally my thoughts on the game it's very impressive stuff let's have a listen shall we oh yeah oh i love this so much it's such a cool little game leaving this devil but yeah this is british railways it is a very cool looking game. I have played it uh, for about an hour or two of it already. I have got some, some, myself some points as you can see up there on the top right. But yeah, it's, it's essentially a game about driving. You do a sort of route, you can pick what route you can do and you can have a guard if you want to. But we don't have a guard on this service. So let's just go to up. The next station is Bawtry Road. So we've got Bawtry Road, Woodham and Bellamond Green. Now, these routes do have timings on them, so you have to arrive to them on time and whatnot, but they are pretty easy to stick to, and I'm quite a slow driver. But you get the hang of it quite easily. There we go, turning around here. Let's slow down a bit, because the limit is 50. Oh, I don't think I've actually been down this way before. I haven't been on this track. This is new for me. Let's floor it. Now, as I said, I don't know if this is one of the three routes you come with it with the base game. Uh, I might be wrong, but you do start with a nice handful of routes. So you've got a few choices. At least I don't know. I don't know what it's like in the full version. But yes, it is a very cool looking game. I do love it. Let's slow down a bit. As you can see, we've got that distance left, so... Now, just a little thing to know about this game. The braking is realistic. None of this arcadey super brakes you get in most Roblox train games. You will have to think about stopping, and stopping distances are very important. So that's a bit of a challenge, but you will get the hang of it quite easily. I normally tend to run, st uh, let's see, two to three notches of break is where I normally sort of stick to. But yes, yeah, so it... it it's a balancing act, but it is very sort of cool. The physics are really good on this. Very realistic. Let's slow down here. 
Oh, and that sound as well. Tito open doors. Now, the cool thing is, I don't know if you saw that, but there was an AI passenger that just got on. He just opened the doors himself. Because the passengers, they will physically open the doors. Not like all doors will open. They will be unlocked, but the AI will actually open them. And I believe you can do that as a passenger. I haven't tested that yet. But it's a very cool little sort of system. Oh, look, it's me. Anyway, let's go to the next station. Awesome. Oh, there's a mini railway as well. Look at that. But yeah, you don't have to, like, accelerate the way I'm doing it. I just do it this way because it's sort of how they do it realistically, kind of. It's the way I like to drive it. Do some tones there. Oh, yeah. And also, let's let's have a look at the cab. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, you can actually control them with the cursor like that. And they actually move. It's, it's really cool. And apparently... I haven't tested this. There you go, AWS reset. Apparently, uh, VR, virtual reality, is supported with this. So I'm really tempted to try that out one day. I might even stream it if you're really that interested. If you like this video, <gasps> stream it! Oh, frick, we are coming up to a station. I'd like to approach at no more than 30 miles an hour, sort of around 30, 25. But you, you'll find your sweet spot. You'll get used to the way you want to drive. Let's stop here nicely. And... Ooh, I love that brake squeal. And open doors. Oh! Look, it's Mezzy! Hello, Mezzy. There he goes. Oh, hello! Oh, bro. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Sorry, Mezzy. You got in the camera there. There we go. Oh, gosh, why are they floating? As I mentioned, this is... I'm recording this before the game is released, so bugs like this will most likely be fixed by then, but don't count me on that. Doors closed, proceed to the next station, which is Bowman Green. Okay, game, I'll do that. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's just max web, shall we? Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, I love this. This is such a fun game. There's not a lot to do. I mean, there's a fair bit to do at the moment. There's like loads of routes. There are multiple trains you can drive. And I believe there are plans in the future for extensions and for other stuff. So keep your eyes pulled on that. You asked, there you go. You are speeding. I put it in real life then. You can't see that. You are speeding slow down. I'm slowing down game. Don't worry. There we go. Now, I don't know what happens when you hit the buffer, so I'm not going to attempt it, because, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a good driver. I'm a pro driver. But, yes, you can see there's an extension planned over there, because you can't quite go through there yet. It's very good. Let's go up. Break. Oh, gosh, I don't want to hit the buffers. Oh. Oh, that was close. And open doors. And here we are, the end of the line, Bauman Green. And here we go, you can see what we've got. We've earned 40 and score of, well, I'm sorry, we've earned 50 in coins and we've got a score of 40, so that's added to our currency. We completed, I get 20, stopped at two stations, I get 20, and time skipped, spadded, audio is ignoring speeding. Look at that, I'm a pro driver. And I think, oh, do you want to do with a reverse route? Hmm. No, you know what? We're going to do the other branch. I think that's a good idea. Let's do East Mids 156. Yeah. Let's do that. And I wanted to do... Was it this one? I think it was... Yes. Let's do this one. Awesome. We'll go to the harbour. I think this is the right direction. Wait, where am I? Oh, wait, no. This is the harbour. Oh, I haven't spawned here before. This is new. Well, this is a first for me. So yeah, this is the end of the line. Uh, I forget the name of the station. Actually, we can check the map. Victoria Harbour. That's the station. Let's go. And I believe... Do we have our interior lights on? We do, and you can change that. There's the headlights, and those are the interior lights. Very good. Let's get out of here. 
And I believe the limit is 20. Yep. So let's do this. Now something I noticed actually. Let's actually put the brake on a bit. So we can show you. Oh there's me again. Um, this red bar. So if you want to drive about the HUD. By pressing the left alt button. Look at that. HUDless. Uh, the red line is the current track speed limit, and then this white one is your speed. So if we were to increase the throttle, you'd see that go up. Easy. Oh, that flange. Yes. And as I said, this is only part of the map. There are more parts of the map, which I have I'm myself yet to explore, because, as I said, there's a loads of routes. Lots of variety, which is good keep you occupied let's see 60 miles an hour and the next station is 0.2 miles away I do love these models this game does look really good look it's me oh and there's a line down there and there's a station here longbow station going in nice I believe the um the, the screens up on the platforms they're pretty dynamic well We've overshot the marker, but hey ho, what can you do? I may be pro, but I'm not that pro. There we go, he's using the door. Oh, and over here. There we go, off he pops. And there we go, doors open, wait for that bar to go down, and then we can... I thought that said London for a second, that got me really confused. Let us go. You know what, let's max revs this. Oh yeah. You've got sort of like the interior sounds as well. That's quite cool. I like that. Now I believe this section is quite cool. Is it this one or is it after? You you know what I mean when we get to it. You know, a nice little beach area. Sort of seafront. Sort of, uh, I don't know, I get Weymouth branch vibes from this. Oh wait, I'm stopping here. <gasps> oh frick. I haven't actually stopped at this station yet, so this is new for me. <laughs> Open doors. Now yeah, it's the first time stopping at this station. Maybe it's because I've only ever driven four car trains, and four car trains can't stop here. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh no, wait! Services only on weekends. Oh, I'm not sure if that's like an actual timetable thing, like in the game, but because it's. It, yeah, it's just turned Saturday by the time I'm recording this, and I've never stopped here. So maybe you can only stop here on real life weekends. That's a really cool feature, if that's actually implemented. I'll have to check the devs after this. That's actually awesome. Bing, thank you, AWS. We are approaching Abbey Road, not to be confused with the Abbey Road with the Beatles. I think that's the Abbey Road that I'm thinking of. Is that Abbey Road? I don't know, probably. Now, can we stop at the two-car marker nicely? I think we can. You know what? That'll do. Oh, look at all these people getting on our train. Let us go, please. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I wonder if you can close the window. Oh, you can open the window. Unplayable. Joking. <laughs> that would have been a cool feature, though. Let's go! Next stop, Redstone. And then... Oh, it actually tells you... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Redstone, Marion, and Leeton. I might be pronouncing these names wrong. I don't know. Yes, 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 I know. I am very wary of the signals, even though I'm going 48 miles an hour. Now, I have gotten onto the left track here. There's like a little shuttle you can do between this station and the harbour station that we that we uh, left the sidings from. This train is of two, coaches. two coaches. It is. Thank you, Mr. Announcer Man. It is two coaches. Wow, you're so smart. Let's just go external this time. Oh yeah, I love this. This is so fun to play. Oh no, this is the bit I was thinking of. So you come down here. Don't worry, we're not going into those buffers. At least I hope not. 
No, it's 45. Okay, cool, cool. And I believe... Let's see, I swear it goes slower. I don't remember. Anyway. That was a level crossing. Okay, I did need to do a tone there. Excuse me, sir. We are coming through on this single track section. Oh, there's a 158. Look at that little boy just, like, just sitting there. Now, I will admit, coming down here the first time, I got jump scared by that because I thought I was going to drive into him. I didn't. Pay you. Oh, yeah. I wonder... Oh, wait, that's just a siding thing. Okay. I was wondering what that uh, little junction thing was for. We are formed of two coaches. Th th this breaking is an art form. I'm I'm saying it now. You it is it takes a lot of practice to get the hang of. Like even I'm not perfect yet, but it is satisfying when you nail it like that. Oh, look at that. Nailed it, mate. I'm just such a pro. Next station leads to our final destination. There's a lot of people. And here we are, we are cleared into Platform 3 at Leeton. Wait, it might be pronounced Leighton, actually. If it is, then, uh, hmm. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to call it Leeton, because why not? Now, are we going right? We are not. We are going straight on. Into the Terminus Platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, this train terminates here. Please remember to alight and to like and subscribe. Ah <laughs> oh, yes. Imagine hearing that over a real life announcer. They just announce that we're out of the final destination and they ask you to like and subscribe to them. Like, what would you do? Like, you're like, how? How do you like and sub to them? Slowing down nicely. Oh, come on. You know what that'll do? I'm alright with that. And here we are at Leeton. All change please passengers, get off my train. And yes, that is it. Let us despawn. And with that, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Well, I really hope you enjoyed me playing this game, which you can play right now by clicking that link in the description to the game. Thank you for the devs for make, letting me play this a couple of days early so I could play us around and record the video for all your enjoyment. I appreciate that and I really hope you do enjoy this game. This is a, it's a really cool project I've been sort of watching for the past couple of months and it is a, worth a play. I definitely recommend you check out and give them all the support, all the devs the support because this is a, an interesting looking game. And I can't wait for future updates. And as usual... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to this guy. He looks just like me. Wow. Um, and yeah, if you want more content, leave a comment. Oh, you always read the comments. And with that, I will let you off and play this game for yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next video.